Welcome back. Um, as you know, this is Easter week, and yesterday Bobby and I showed you, you know, our personal Easter basket. And each day this week, we get to open up an egg together. So, which one you want to do today? Mm, I think, how about this one? All right. Oh, yellow. I like yellow. Me too. Mm -hmm. What do you think it's in? Was in there? Ooh. Mm. A lot noisier than yesterday. It does. It sounds kind of like money. Shopping trip in our future. Maybe. Can I open it and see? Okay, yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh. Huh. Well, there is money in here and some other things. This doesn't look like mm, that's American, not American money. I don't think we're getting far on this. Yeah, probably that's not. That's too bad. All right. Well, all right. Well, I think once again, this is everything we need to tell the next part of our Easter story. Okay. It's getting predictable. All right. So <laughs> were you with us yesterday? You out there? If not, you may want to also watch yesterday's video so you'll know the whole, whole story. Yesterday, we talked about how there was a giant parade mm -hmm. um, in honor of Jesus as he rode into the city of Jerusalem on a donkey. Once he was in the city, Jesus arranged a place to eat the Passover dinner with his disciples. Now, dinner tables in those days were not at all like dinner tables today. Right. There were no chairs. And they were actually kind of like pillows because they were close to the ground and maybe people would like lean on somebody on the cushions while they ate. So, if you were crowded around a table, kind of leaning on a cushion, it meant that your feet might actually be kind of close to someone else's face. Look! Yuck. That's gross, right? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't Sick. want to eat with somebody's foot in my face. No, uh-uh. Plus, in those days, feet were dirtier than feet today because people wore sandals all the time and they walked on dirt roads and there wasn't just dirt on the road. There was also... Ugh. 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 I'm just... Hold on. Mm. Ew. Uh, animal poo! Gross! <laughs> ah, that's right. People stepped in animal poo, and then, well, you certainly wouldn't want their feet no, in your gross. face, especially when you were eating. So, now, usually there was a servant whose job it was to wash feet, and it was kind of a bad job, to be sure. honest. I mean, nobody ever said, oh, I hope I grow up to become a foot washer so I can wash the animal poo off people's stinky feet all day long. Yeah. But at this Passover celebration, there was no servant to wash the stinky feet. Guess who did it? Who? Jesus. He pulled out a bowl. You know? Okay. Maybe we'll scoot the poo over. Yeah. <laughs> and he poured some water in the bowl. Okay. It's probably a bigger basin than this. Sure. Yeah. And then he took a towel. Okay. And one by one, he dipped it in, wrung it out, and washed all of his friends' stinky feet. He didn't ask his disciples to do it, right? Even mm -hmm. though he was the leader, he did it himself. Now, I'll never forget that part of the Easter story. Mm -hmm. When the greatest person who ever lived, Jesus, did the work of a servant instead of making someone else do it. I mean, can you imagine the President of the United States doing the work of his servants? Or can you imagine like a big giant sports star, or music star, or anyone that is famous like that? washing the poo off people's feet no uh-uh i don't think so anyway after the foot washing they all sat at the table and jesus began talking and he told his disciples something that was a little surprising i'm going away he said they probably thought like he's going on a trip or something mm -hmm. but jesus was really telling them i'm gonna die soon mm -hmm. And then he gave them and us a way to always remember him. He picked up some bread and he broke it. And he said, my body is like this bread. It will break. And then he picked up a glass of wine and he said, my blood is like this wine. It will pour out. Jesus was saying, I guess that's why this is in there. Mm. 
this little cup. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus was saying that he had to break for our hearts mm -hmm. and our world to heal. And then he added, Eat this bread and drink this juice often and remember, I've rescued you. We learned yesterday about how he was going to be our rescuer. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we do in church. You know, when we have that little wafer and that mm -hmm. little little tiny cup of juice, we're remembering Jesus as our rescuer mm -hmm. together. Oh, so we haven't talked about this yet. This mm -hmm. is the money part. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of a sad part. It is. Yeah. One of Jesus' closest friends, Judas, knew that the religious leaders hated him and wanted to kill him, but they couldn't just like snatch him up with all those adoring fans following him around all the time because that would make him look bad, right? right. <laughs> so when he wasn't in the crowd, they didn't, they didn't actually know where he was, how to find him, to mm -hmm. capture him. So Judas, Judas, his friend, decided to mm -hmm. help them. Terrible. He made a deal with Jesus' enemies. Mm. Oh, and Jesus knew all about it. Yes, the religious leaders gave Judas money to tell them where they could find and arrest him without a crowd watching. And remember I said Jesus knew? Because he knows right. everything. Because he knows everything. Mm -hmm. You can't hide even your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So when he was at the dinner that we talked about here, mm -hmm. the dinner, he said to Judas, um, you know, go ahead and do what you've already planned to do. Mm -hmm. And so Judas just left. And then after dinner, Jesus and his friends went to a favorite place of theirs called the Garden of Gethsemane. And it was late and the disciples were really sleepy, but Jesus was not sleepy. He, he was praying. Mm -hmm. And as he prayed, he was super upset because he knew what was about to he was about to be arrested by the religious leaders and then later killed. Here's what he said. He said, Father, if you are willing, please take this suffering from me. But I want what you want, even more than I want to have my own way. Wow. I know. You heard that right. Jesus asked God the Father if there was any way that he could that we could still be rescued without him having to die on a cross but really he already knew the answer. Mm -hmm. He knew there was actually no other way. So when Judas showed up with the soldiers, he just let them take him away. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Could the man who made the wind obey have gotten away from the soldiers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he didn't even try. He just let them take him away because he knew this was the rescue plan that God had made years and years ago. Wow cool right mm -hmm. that's our story for today mm -hmm. actually i hope you'll be back with us tomorrow and i also hope you'll look at the activities and crafts that go along with this lesson have fun with your family